former DJ Master Metal Mike from Hell Yeah Radio and a promoter for bands such as Surrender to Eden is collaborating with Plug and Play Productions. All right, Mike. Uh, Metal Mike from uh, Hell Yeah Radio, former radio host. And a a master model, Mike, is a promoter for the band Intoxication and a promoter for Surrender to Eden. Tell me how you got involved with that and uh, where are your radio stations going? Well, I'm no longer representing Intoxication. Uh, There was some problems and uh, they didn't quite need to have a fit of a manager. But I am working with a band called Surrender to Eden, which is really blowing up right now. They're with Curtain Call Records. Uh, We're booking shows all over the East Coast. Uh, We just did a show out in Sturges for Bike Week uh, back a couple months ago. That turned out to be really good at a place called... I saw that. That was exciting to go to the uh, uh, the, the saloon there and watch people play and motorcycles. And that's fantastic. Yeah, it it was a good venue. I actually enjoyed going out there. Like I said, this band, I got hooked up with them a couple months back, and things have been really going really well. They're a band that I can stand behind. They're very professional. It's progressive um, metal, which is something that I'm more interested in playing uh, on my radio station, which will be coming up again uh, sometime by the end of this year, beginning of next. I'll put the radio station back up. But uh, yeah, this band is amazing. Uh, I, I can't say enough about the guys. And it just so happened one of the guys that are in the band, the guitar player, Ron, him and I went to school together. And we oh, didn't yeah. know them until we met up uh, at a place called the Gin Mill in Northampton, Pennsylvania. Fantastic. Yeah. And uh, are you going to tour with them again and go cross country? Uh, yeah, that's what we're looking to do. Yeah. Um, uh, the record label that they're with right now, Curtain Call Records, they're a big promotional radio company, and uh, they're getting us a lot of airplay. They're trying to book us with some festivals, but we as a band ourselves are also to look to get them into different venues uh, from all over the United States, Canada, and, and possibly even into Europe. So are they on mainstream radio? Uh, not at the moment. They're on internet radio. We're trying to get them on mainstream, but uh, the the amount of money that they want to put you on mainstream radio is just a bit ridiculous. Right now, we're just trying to build up our followers. Right, right, right. And any other exciting news? Uh, I'll be any working other, other yeah, band you're working with. I'm going to be working with a band called Jonah Whale. Uh, they're also out of Pennsylvania, which is not too far from where I live, and. Uh, I recently started talking with them Uh, earlier today when we were going to do this video. I uh, was on the phone and also on the uh, computer with a band called Black Whiskey out of Australia. Uh, They're looking to have me come on as their manager slash promoter, and they want to get me uh, to find them some shows in Japan because Japan has a real big following with American type music as well as metal and rock and roll. So this is a band that they've played in uh, in Japan before, uh, but they, they lost their connections thanks to the, the pandemic, which we all suffered uh, back in 2019 through 23. Yes. So no. A lot of the places that they went to are no longer open. And I've got a few avenues that I can get them into. So what, will you be traveling with them as, as well? Uh, right now I'm just going to stick with Surrender to Eden, uh, but I'm going to try to book these other bands. Uh, but my main focus is Surrender to Eden. Right, right. That'd be, uh, that'd be great for, for promoting these bands across to China and across the world. That's exciting. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the American music market isn't what it used to be. Uh, the European market is a very hot commodity for bands. Right. especially the types of bands that I'm working with. Uh, metal doesn't seem to be really going so well here in the States any longer. It seems to be more underground. But then again, the record, uh, the, the music business isn't quite the same as it was, say, 25, 30 years ago. Exactly. Uh, 
you know, your, your, your record companies, they would give you a couple million dollars, tell you to go book a bunch of shows, get your costumes, get your gear. And then they'd flip a bill at the end of the year and tell you, okay, now pay us back. You know, uh, now before they even want to work with you, you got to go out there and you got to make yourself a name before they even consider taking you on. So you got to make your first million dollars or more before they consider it. Exactly. Uh, to prove yourself, right? You have to prove. Yeah, that's basically what it is. And with the way uh, mainstream media is today, uh, you really don't even need the record companies because you can produce yourself and, and, and break out on social media and you can get a bigger, better following uh, depending on how you want to market yourself. Absolutely. Today, today's technology, you can do everything on your phone practically. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there were days where I would run my radio station right off my phone. Tell us about your radio station. You're going to start it up and uh, what kind of mainly music you're going to play is metal or prog? Well, no, I, do, I, I play all genre. Um, I really have no preference. What I like to do is I like to bring bands to my radio show that aren't normally played on regular radio or bands that uh, people have never heard of. I like to find a unique band uh, all over Europe, all over the United States, Canada, wherever I can find the bands. So I'll play anything from Aboriginal boohoo music to, to tribal African stuff. It really doesn't matter. So if how many listeners want to hear it? I'll play it. Right. Uh, how many followers you have and. uh, I noticed you did a couple of podcasts well uh, as well. Yeah, I, I do a couple of podcasts from time to time, uh, do live interviews with certain bands, certain artists. Uh, I've done a lot with Pete Maroney uh, out of Sweden. He's a good friend of mine. I consider him a brother. Um, him and I really do a lot of videos and, and, and interviews together. Uh, I have done a few videos with a German band called Kane, uh, but they're recently... Uh, for some reason, they seem to have disappeared. I'm still in contact with them, but uh, it seems like the band disappeared, uh, broke up, and they're reforming. So I'm just waiting for that to come back. Um, I also did a, I do a lot of stuff with a band called Slashy Sue out of Sweden, who is no longer in, in, in business as a band. Instead, they're working under Sapphira, which uh, they've asked me to come on and do some audio for them or some vocals, which I did for them when they were Slashy Sue. I got on one of their albums and I'm on a song called Season to Slaughter. And uh, the first intro into it, you'll hear my voice. Fantastic. That's exciting. Yeah. Hey, it is what it is, you know. I'll do anything to get myself out there. Yeah, you're so you're a singer, promoter, and a DJ host. Pretty much, yeah. I'm like a, a pharmacist. I've got everything from A to Z covered. That's good. That's good. Well, that's yeah. that's fantastic because uh, you make my show bigger because I got big shots like you on that uh, meet big people all over the world, which is exciting. And uh, well, I don't really consider myself a big person. I, I just consider myself lucky. Yes. Yeah. But I do promote your show from time to time. I'll, I'll give you a shout out, uh, you know, when I've done things. And you and I are always, you know, chatting throughout the year. Yeah, yeah. We uh, off and on. Yeah. I, I follow you on Facebook and uh, see you with the bands. And uh, you, you lead an exciting life, let me tell you. Yeah, I, I'm actually, I, I feel very grounded in what I'm doing. Um, there was a time... Uh, back in 23, where I didn't think this was going to really go much further than it was. Uh, I had a uh, heart attack and, and had to go for a triple bypass. So I thought that my uh, career and life was coming to an end. But thank God to technology and the doctors that I've had, uh, knock on wood, they've kept me around a little while longer. And since then, things have been progressing. Well, you look good and uh, you sound good. And... Uh... I hope yeah, I've got a few things I got to take care of yet, you know, with the old ticker. Got to drop the weight, get better in the shape. You and but me. That'll take time. I mean, I'm only my second year into healing from surgery. Right. So. Eat well, sleep well, keep fit, and uh, be happy. 
yeah unfortunately in the in the music business it's hard to eat well sleep well because you're you know you're constantly one place to another and you're eating whatever you can just to satisfy the stomach right <laughs> yeah it's like being a truck driver stay away you gotta eat a lot of crap yeah stay away from deep fried very bad that's hard to do in american society today everything comes out of a can or it's deep fried yeah yeah that's true yeah. And that leads to uh, plaque and heart attacks. Yes, and so. cigarette smoking. Uh, did you quit? Thing. Yeah, I, I did quit for a while. Fortunately, I'm back to smoking again. Oh, that's not good. Uh, a little bit of stress. This is a crazy industry, and stress is definitely one of the silent killers of all of us. Yeah, yeah. I at least slow down, right? Keep yeah, me. I'm no longer smoking three packs a day. Now I'm down to a pack. Oh, jeez, that's still a lot. Yeah. But I'm trying to quit, though. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can in quitting. Yeah, It is difficult. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the cigarette tobacco companies pump the, uh, their chemicals into the cigarettes, which uh, cause it to become more addictive. Yes, they say it's more addictive than heroin. Yeah, and I've done every drug from A to Z, and I've quit it all. But cigarettes, the most success I had was three years, and now I'm back on smoking. Or maybe you try the gum. Nicotine. Uh, yeah, if you want to chew nicotine gum, I'd rather chew on a skunk's rear end. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to you gotta make something happen, I guess. You got to either cold turkey or slow down or... Yeah, well, I, I do have a quit date. It's for the end of this month. Um I've got a good support system between the band that I'm working with and uh, some family members. I think I can kick the habit again. I think so too. Oh yeah, yeah. But there's yeah. a will, there's a way. So, you know, and plus if you, you got all this supportive background, people behind you, uh, you know, eat yeah, care. The problem with quitting cigarettes, I noticed is, uh, again, you put on a lot of weight. Yes, you t your taste buds come back. Yeah, I find myself eating twice the amount of food because I'm craving a cigarette and right away I just want to gnaw on something. Exactly. Well, eat healthy. Eat fruits and vegetables. Get yeah. the fiber up and uh, the carbs down. You know, the breads, the pastas. I, yeah, I, that, that's the hardest part, you know, the carbs. I have problems with my weight too. Uh, I like to eat. Oh, who doesn't? Who doesn't like to eat, right? And abundance. I like to eat too much. Well, but, since COVID, that's all there seemed to have been that we're able to do for a while was just eat, 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 you know? Yes, yes. Sitting at home seven days a week for how many years it was, and, and there was nothing to do but watch TV, eat, eat and gain weight. Exactly. Now so, you got to break the cycle. Break the cycle. So any big projects other uh, upcoming that uh, you're working on that could be a, into in the making or? Well, yeah, on September 20th, uh, Curtain Call Record and the band Surrender to Eden will be doing a uh, showcase down at Dingbats with another band on their label called In Incognito Theory. Uh, that'll be a CD release party that we're doing. Uh, that, that'll be September 20th at Dingbats in Clifton, New Jersey. And then we'll also be redoing that show as well on October 5th, which is a Friday at a Signature Event Center in Broadheadsville, Pennsylvania. So we'll be uh, doing that CD release party twice in over the next two months. So you're going to broadcast this on your radio station that's coming up again? Uh... Well, I'll be putting their music out on the radio station, uh, but... The, the things that I'm doing with the band right now is mostly trying to run around, get as much photos as I can so we can saturate uh, their me social media pages and, uh, you know, working with the venues and trying to keep things going on time and, and making sure the bands are taken care of while I'm there. You know, well, the role of the manager is you got to wear di many different hats. And right now uh, we haven't really decided what my role is with Surrender to Eden. Uh, it's looking more like a co-management, but uh, I don't mind filling whatever shoes I need to fill with this band. 
Uh, it's one of these bands where you don't want to let go of because they're definitely going to take off. And being on the ground floor, such as I am, I can only be sitting in a better spot in a few more months, if not a year down the road. Good for you. Eventually, we'll get our asses up there to Canada and start touring all yes, over. Yes, I would like to see that. So you got to find us some big venues and send them my way so I can hook that all up. Fantastic. Yes, yes. Oh, you can play local bars here. Well, uh, with Surrender to Eden, we can't really do local bars because it's a it's a big productive uh, show that we put on. And it's a big expense for hotel and gas, traveling expenses. And well, that's what the tour buses are for. We spend a lot of time in the buses. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. Yeah, yeah. You're like a rock star. <laughs> if only I had this money like a rock star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One well, thing I found in this business is you don't do it for the love of money because the money comes and goes. Uh, yeah. You've really got to do it for the love of the music and for what you're doing. Absolutely. Yes, it's not yeah. about the money. It's about the passion. Yeah, if you want to get into this for money, you might as well just, you know, sell your shit on the street corner because you'll make more money. Exactly. If you don't have the passion for this, I recommend not getting involved. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's so many bands out there. You know, you you, you don't know who's going to make it and who's going to fail. Uh, but the ones that are up on the stage and doing it, those to me are the ones that are inspirational. You know, the ones that don't uh, carry themselves above where they should be. The diehards. Yes, yes. And then, and you got to stay very fan-oriented. Uh, you got to get out there, mingle with your fans. It's about, about the, it's about the, the people, right? It's about the people. Yeah. It's all about the people because without the fans, you really got nothing. In you. you got nothing. If you don't have the support system, you have nothing. Yeah. The followers, the roadies, you know. Well, you know, it all comes with the territory, but you got to have fan base. Don't be afraid to get out there and mingle with the crowd. Get out there, sign autographs, talk to them, take pictures with them. You know, if they want to buy you a beer, drink a beer with them. You know, just uh, keep them in mind because without them, you're nobody. Right. Exactly. All right, Mike, uh, thanks for being on the show. I hope to have you back once you get your radio back up and running and we can discuss uh, further plans. Yeah, that sounds great. Hopefully we can get something rocking and rolling together. So where, where can people reach you? Uh, they can reach me at Hell Yeah Radio. Um, yeah, I think it's uh, Metal Mike's Hell Yeah Radio at gmail.com or uh they can look me up on facebook uh under my under my real name michael mosner m-o-s-n-e-r and i'll be glad to take them on board and and hook them up on my friends list fantastic well thanks again and uh we'll talk to you soon not a problem john it was good talking with you likewise all the best all right brother you enjoy the rest of your day you too thank you